Three different operation screens are used to monitor sugarcane harvest operations on the John Deere 2630 Green Star display. Pressing the main menu button displays the Green Star home screen with the sugarcane application icon. Pressing the icon once will display the first of three sugarcane operation screens. A second press advances to screen two of three and a third press advances to screen three of three. Screen one of three allows the operator to monitor base cutter height, base cutter pressure, and chopper pressure. Screen two of three includes a machine graphic with six soft key icons that open screens for setup, monitoring, and operation of key harvester systems and functions. Included are floating crop dividers and contour base cutter height control, machine alarms and operator controls, extractor fan, engine, drivetrain control, and elevator setup. In addition, the sugar main and harvest activity monitor icon keys are available in the right hand menu bar and two editable cells that can be populated with selected machine values. Screen three of three has six editable cells that can be set up to monitor selected parameters. Select a cell and scroll down through the drop down list of available parameters to select the desired value for display. Each of the screens includes a status bar at the bottom of the display. During operation, the status bar provides the operator with the operating status of the right and left floating crop dividers and the contour base cutter, as well as several other machine functions. The icons in the status bar are color coded according to their current operating state. A yellow blinking icon indicates a function is enabled but not currently active such as end of row operation. A steady yellow icon indicates the function is in a state of transition, such as raising or lowering on headlands. A blinking green icon indicates the function is active, however operation is paused, such as when the machine is not moving forward. A solid green icon indicates the function is active, and currently in operation. In addition to the Green Star Sugar Cane Harvest Operation screen, the lower corner post display includes the readings for the base cutter cutting pressure as well as the target and actual base cutter height settings. Two buttons on the armrest console are used for crop divider and base cutter operation. These switches enable and activate the systems for operation. By default, the systems are deactivated when the key switch is turned off, requiring that they be re-enabled upon startup. Multifunction lever buttons are used to control crop divider and base cutter operations. Right and left floating crop divider raise and lower buttons are located on the forward facing side of the multifunction lever handle. Press the top of the switch to raise and the bottom to lower the floating crop dividers. On the rear facing side of the handle is the base cutter raise lower button. Press the top of the button to raise and press the bottom of the button to lower the base cutter. When pressed to the first detent position, the base cutter is in manual raise mode. Pressing the button to the second detent will activate automated headland height and return to cut settings. Configurable buttons on the multifunction lever handle can be programmed for specific harvest functions. Select the alarm and operator setup soft key on operating screen 2 to make configurable button changes. Check the configurable controls enable box and select the button to be programmed. Choose from the list of control functions available
to be applied to that button. Typical selections for sugarcane harvest are for custom end of row crop divider and base cutter raise and lower functions. Configurable controls are also disabled when the ignition key is turned off and must be re-enabled at startup. 